Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and in today's video, we're going to cover all of our spring, kind of. It's not quite spring yet, but you guys get the point. These are all the empties that I've gone through, so I'm going to talk about everything that I went through and let you guys know if I would repurchase it or not. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you guys like these types of videos, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. That way I know that you guys like these and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss any future empties videos. So let's jump right in and let's do this. All right, so let's dive right in. The first three things that I'm gonna talk about are for shaving. So if you are not into that, you can probably skip a little bit ahead. But the first thing up I got was the Gillette Venus with Olay Ultra Moisture Shave Gel. This was one that I started using because I had talked about one that I loved in my previous empties video. I had like four bottles of it, I think. It was the shave cream. It was like in the plastic bottle that had the swirls in it. I was obsessed with that shaving cream and then my Walmart decides to play me and not sell it anymore. So I was forced to expand my horizons yet again with shaving cream. So this was the first one I picked up and I wasn't crazy about it. It didn't do enough for me. It didn't hydrate my legs at all. Like ultra moisture, not so much. So I would pass on that. The only way I would get that again is if I absolutely needed one. And then I tried the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream Vanilla Bliss. I did purchase a second one of these. It's actually in my shower right now. But this I just feel like this was the best of the ones that I've used so far aside from that one I can't get anymore. It's just you have to use so much product because I'm the type of person that I need my legs to be saturated. But with this, it's like it goes on so thin, but I just hate how I'm sitting here like pump, pump, pump. It just does not come out like I need a lot. Like if you're somebody like me that has really sensitive skin when it comes to shaving, this will not be enough for you. But I will say that this was probably the best one of them all so far. But this next one is going to be the holy grail product that I will always use to shave my legs. Like ever since I started using this, it's not a shaving cream technically. Ever since I started using this, I don't get razor bumps after. I don't itch like crazy after. So this is the Matrix Biolage Hydrosource Conditioning Balm. Obviously this is a conditioner for your hair, but it works for shaving your legs because this is a very thick and heavy conditioner, but I also use this in my hair and you'd think that this would weigh down your hair because it is such a thick consistency and it doesn't. This is by far the best conditioner I've ever used and the best shaving cream I've ever used. I've used this for years and I never really thought to use it on my legs, especially since I was having so many issues with my legs itching like crazy and breaking out in razor bumps. But as soon as I switched to this, that automatically stopped. Like I still get a little bit itchy, but not nearly to the extent that I did. So this is going to be my new holy grail for my conditioner and my shaving cream. So I would definitely encourage you guys to try this out if you have skin like me. But this is a little bit more expensive, but for me being dual purpose, and you get a ton of product. You get 9.5 fluid ounces, so this lasts a long time. So I would definitely encourage you guys to try this out if you have those issues like I do. Next thing up is going to be my favorite hand soap of all time. I've probably gone through like five of these by now, but this is so good i just saved one of them this is the vanilla coconut gentle foaming hand soap with coconut oil by bath and body works this stuff smells so good i don't even know if you can get this anymore because it got restocked and i bought like 10 of them because i am so obsessed with this but it smells so good it smells just like coconut like vanilla coconut done deal if you are a coconut fan you will love this it smells so fucking good so that is like my favorite hand soap of all time so moving on, we're gonna talk about hair again. So I have this Royal Treatment White Truffle and Pearl Volume Shampoo. This is by Chi, I think. Yeah, by Chi. So this was a really good like clarifying shampoo, but it does not give me volume at all. And it was like a pain in the ass trying to get all the product out of the bottle. I don't know why, because it has a pretty decent sized hole to get the product out, but it just did not wanna come out. But anyways, this package was really cute. I really liked it. It smells so good. It smells almost like jasmine vanilla. So I really did like this, but for if you're looking for volume, I would say this is not going to do it for you, but it was a really nice clarifying shampoo. Like if I had dry shampoo in there and I needed to get all that greasy nastiness out, this would do that for me. So I did really like this. I will repurchase it. This was really good. I love the smell of it especially. So this next one is going to be a sheet mask. This is the Stay Gorgeous Hydrates and Nourishes by Biobel. I think this was good. I don't really remember. That's the only downfall about like face masks and stuff. You use them once and you're like, okay, did it break me out? No. So I'm assuming that it was good. Yeah, that's all I really got to say. It's just a sheet mask. It's really nice for hydration. Didn't break me out. So we're good with that. So next thing is going to be these Ardell Full Mink Lashes. Now I did not want to get rid of these because I love these lashes. These were the 811 lashes, I believe. 
These were such beautiful lashes, but I was trying to get the glue off of them and the band completely fell apart. So I had to throw them out. But I did really love these. I will repurchase them. I thought they were excellent lashes. And then moving on, we're going to talk about some mascara. So this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my favorite mascara of all time, especially if you're looking for volume. I think this is such an amazing mascara. But the only thing I'll say is if you have short bottom lashes like I do, this is too big of an applicator to use, at least for me. So I can only use this on my top lashes, but I freaking love this mascara. I will definitely repurchase it. They're coming out with like a glitter one. That's the one I'm waiting for. So that's when I will repurchase it. But yes, ride or die mascara, love that one. Next thing is going to be my holy grail face wipes. These are the Kirkland Signature Daily Facial Talents, I think they're called. You get these at Costco. They are so affordable. They're like 12 bucks and you get like 150 wipes or something crazy like that. Like these are hands down the best wipes you're ever going to find. Like they feel like luxury face wipes. They don't break me out. They don't irritate my skin. These are such amazing face wipes. I would definitely recommend these. I've talked about them a million times. So we're still using them and they still the best. Okay, next thing is going to be from Caudalie. I want to talk about both of these because this one's not empty. This is the Instant Foaming Cleanser. I did not like this at all. It didn't do anything for me. It didn't cleanse my face enough. I would definitely not repurchase it, but I got it with this product. That's why I'm talking about them together. This is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is Holy Grail status. If you guys watch my morning skincare routine, this is the product that I still use to this day. I absolutely love it for morning time. Holy Grail status, like I said, so I would definitely recommend that, but I would pass on the Instant Foaming Cleanser. But I know they came back out with the Trio with this again. If you're going to get the Beauty Elixir, you're better off just getting that Trio because it's the same price as the full size. So. This is 100% worth the price. I love it. This, I would pass. All right, so this next thing is going to be a lash serum. This works. I don't care what anybody says. I was using this for six weeks before, and my lashes look so much longer and so much fuller. So if you're looking for an eyelash serum, this is the one that you want. This is going to be the Rodin and Fields Lash Boost. I am an affiliate with this company because I fucking love this product. And the lip serum beads are fire they like those are the top two products but if you're looking for longer or fuller lashes or both this is the product that you want to use i use this only at night and it made such a difference with my lashes and then i got the unique one don't waste your money on that one because that one does not work i'm going to tell you that right now and it stings the shit out of your eyes so you do not want any part of that this does not irritate your eyes at all. Like if it gets in your eyes, you want to get it out of your eyes using water, but it doesn't sting your eyes. You get like almost like a film looking over your eye, but you could rinse it right out and you're totally fine. But the unique one, holy shit, if that gets in your eyes, goddamn, it's intense. So this is the one I would definitely recommend. It worked really well for me. I have a second one upstairs now that I'm going to start using. Definitely would recommend this. It's amazing. Yes, it's expensive but it fucking works and it lasts a really long time. Like this lasted me like four or five months. So yeah, you don't need to use a lot of product. It's definitely worth the price tag 100%. Okay, next thing up is going to be this Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. I used to use this all the time when I was younger, so I got it as I'm older now and I don't see the results that I used to. Like anytime I had a breakout, I would put this on it and it would vanish. That does not happen anymore. So this doesn't really work for me anymore. So that's where you still see I have some product left in there. I just decided to get rid of it because I wasn't using it. So pass on that. So sticking with skincare, the next thing is going to be this L'Occitane Creme Divine Face Cream. This stuff is heavenly. It is so good. I love the smell of it. I don't know how to explain the smell of it. It just smells like luxury. That's the only way to explain it. It smells so good. It makes your face feel incredibly good like it just makes it feel like as, when you're rubbing this on your face it just feels like you're getting younger as you're using it i don't know what the hell they put in this stuff but it was absolutely amazing loxy 10 did send this to me but i would 100 percent repurchase it again just because of the way that it felt on my skin it just looks feels smells luxurious it's a beautiful product i would 100 percent recommend it i feel like it mainly worked for anti-aging but this is absolutely phenomenal. I would 100% recommend it. I would definitely repurchase it. Okay, so the next thing up is going to be something I absolutely hate. We won't talk too much about this because I just do not like these. These are the Wet n Wild Under the Sheets uh, Makeup Remover Towels. They're terrible. They're good for if you're taking off swatches and stuff, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. Spend the money and get the big box of the Kirkland Makeup Wipes. They are so much more worth the price than those ones are. That's all I'm gonna say on that. I've talked about it in my previous empties before. 
I just had to get rid of them. So yeah, stick to the Costco wipes, you guys. Okay, the next thing up is going to be this Sleepy Body Lotion by Lush Cosmetics. This stuff is so amazing. I love using this at nighttime. It just has that lavender vanilla scent. It smells so good. It like puts you to sleep. It is such a good body lotion. I love the way that it smells. I don't think it does enough for moisturizing. Like it makes you feel really oily. So if you don't like that, you might want to pass on it. But that is the only negative I would say for this lotion is it, it just makes you feel oily. But for me at nighttime, I am all about that life. So I really love this for nighttime. I have worn it during the daytime and it is a little bit too intense for the daytime unless you're like going out at night or something and you want your legs to be popping. This will definitely do that, but that's when I would use my Brazilian Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. This is more of my nighttime because of just the scent. It's so relaxing. It's just so glorious. I love this stuff, and I do have one of these upstairs in my room right now. Okay, next thing is going to be something from the hubby. This is the Bath & Body Works Noir for Men 2-in-1 Hair and Body Wash. This is like the only shit that he uses. This one's one of my favorites, but I think Ocean is the best one. But yeah, it's just a body wash. He really likes them, so... If you got a man out there, check these out because they smell bomb. Like when he takes a shower, I could smell all the way from our room to the kitchen and it's like on the opposite end of the house. These smell so good. Definitely recommend those and we've repurchased those like a million times. So sticking with body wash, we'll hit mine really quick. This is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous Body Wash. This is the one I went to after I ran out of my L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil, I think. The almond shower oil was starting to break me out a little bit, so I wanted to switch it up, and this doesn't break me out at all. I love the scent of it. It smells almost like warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works, so I've been really liking this. I've heard that this is a lot different than the original one, so I wouldn't know, but I still really like it. I love the smell of it, so this is the one that I've been using, and this is what is in my shower currently, so... I have already repurchased it. Alright, next thing up is going to be this Rodin & Fields Redefine Pore Minimizing Toner. I actually have another one of these upstairs that I'm incorporating now. I don't think it does anything, honestly. I've had so many pore minimizing products and none of them have made a groundbreaking difference. And this one I feel like it doesn't either. So I would not repurchase it. I'm only using the one that I have upstairs just because it was full. So. Pass on that, it is an okay toner, but I don't think it really does anything. So sticking with Rodin & Fields, these are holy fucking grail status. These are the Rodin & Fields Lip Renewal and Serum Beads. If you have crusty, chapped, splitting, any type of situation going on with your lips, this will change it overnight, I kid you not. I had a lot of trial and error with this product because I felt like I was like, why the fuck doesn't this last on your lips? Well, you want to put this on like right before you fall asleep. You get these little beads. I don't have any left, obviously, but they are little beads. You can get two uses out of the beads. You squeeze half of it out and apply it all over your lips right before you go to bed. Like don't kiss your man. Don't kiss your woman. Don't do anything after you apply it. Just go to bed and you're going to wake up with new lips. I swear to fucking God. I swear by these. They are expensive as shit. They're like $55 for a tub like this and it's not very big at all, but this product works and I only use it at night. I only apply it right before I go to bed and your lips will thank you later. Like these are, they're so fucking good. I can't even express how good these are. Like these are the best lip product I've ever put on my lips. If you get anything from Rodin Fields, this is what you want to get. They are bomb. So I would definitely repurchase them. I would definitely recommend it. So good. Okay, next thing is going to be another hair product. This is the Lush Cosmetics Veganese Hair Conditioner. I kind of got out of this product. I mean, I used it up because I had it, but I love the smell of it. It just smells like fresh lemons, but it doesn't do anything for my hair as far as conditioning. Like, I like a really thick conditioner because I want my hair to feel silky soft and I need a really deep conditioning hair conditioner. That's why I went back to the Biolage one. But this one was okay. I got this more for the smell, but that's also why I got a small bottle of it. So. I don't think I will ever repurchase this again just because it doesn't do anything for me. So if you're looking for a really light hair conditioner that gives you nice shine to your hair, maybe try it, but I still don't feel like it does anything groundbreaking for shine either. Then the next thing is going to be another hair product. So this is the Matrix Biolage Hydrosource Shampoo. This is holy grail shampoo. I love this. I love the scent of it. It's the shampoo that goes with that conditioner. I love this stuff. I will definitely repurchase it over and over again. I've been using this for years. This is like the only shampoo that I can use 
over and over like day after day after day and it does not make my hair greasy this is the only shampoo that really works with my hair so i love the stuff i will continue to repurchase it try it out it's a little bit more expensive but it's worth every goddamn penny so yes love that okay next thing is going to be actually a makeup product so this is the urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray this is one of my favorite setting sprays i have one in my drawer right now i will continue to repurchase it but I would say to spend the money on your Scandinavia Bridal Spray. I think that one is better. You get double the amount of product for the same price. So they are both made by Scandinavia. So I feel like they are the same exact product. So I will repurchase this usually when it's on sale. But if they're not on sale, I will go with Scandinavia instead. So that's just my little peace of mind on that. But this is an excellent face product. I love this for setting my makeup. It really makes a difference. It makes everything melt into my skin and it really prolongs my makeup and I use this on clients all the time. So love this product, but if I was to choose between this and Scandinavia, if this is on sale like half off, I'll buy this one. But if it's not, I'm gonna buy the Scandinavia one, but let's face it, they're made by the same company. Okay, next thing up is going to be this Batiste dry shampoo. I think I still have some left, so I'm actually gonna spray some in my hair right now. But this does leave a white cast in my hair. So that's why I don't really love this one. I don't use this all the time. I need to try getting the one with the dark, like the dark tone to it. I love the smell of this though. So it smells like vacation. That's initially why I bought it, but it does leave that white cast in my hair. So I can't just like spray my entire head. I can only spray like underneath. But if I were to pur pull up the area that I just sprayed, you could see right there, I have that white cast in there. So if people tell you that this does not have white cast, it absolutely does. So be mindful of that, but they do have tinted ones if you have light, medium, or dark hair. That's the one that I'm going to purchase next, but I do love these because they are very affordable. All right, so the next thing is going to be also from L'Occitane. This is the Cream Comfort Comforting Cream. Creme Comfort Comforting Cream. I don't know. This is what I was using for a while to moisturize my face. I did not really love this. It smells a lot like vitamin E face cream. I definitely prefer the Creme Divine over this one, but this was better for daytime. So I did use the shit out of this for daytime, but it just wasn't my favorite. I feel like it was more luxurious than the vitamin E that you get at like Walmart, but to justify the price, mm, not so much. And the smell of it, I really didn't care for. It almost smells like I don't know, it has like kind of a more mature scent to it, so I'm not crazy about that. I would not repurchase this though. I would repurchase this one over this one by far. And then we'll move on to this Mystic Divine Nourishing Mask. I did really like this. I just used one the other day. It was like the, um, it was by uh, Redkin, the Redkin K-Pack. That was so freaking good. I will definitely repurchase that one. I actually purchased the big tub of this, but I never used it. I actually put it in my giveaway drawer because I just, I know I'm not going to use it. And after using that Redken one the other day, that's the one I'm going to repurchase. But this one, I would say it's good for the price. It's more affordable. It's sold at Sally. So it was decent, but not my favorite by any means. Okay. So this next one is going to be this Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I really did like this. I bought it initially because it was on sale at Macy's, I think. I really did like the smell of it. I love this for daytime because it has that citrus scent, so it really like woke me up. It smells like orangey citrus, so it smells really good. I really did like this, and it, like I said, it just gave me like that wake me up in the morning, so I really did like this. It is a gel consistency, so it wasn't so heavy on the skin, so I feel like dry skin, oily skin, anybody could use this. I really did like it. I would repurchase it as well, so I did really like this one. Let's see, this is the Aquaphor Lip Repair Immediate Relief Lip Treatment, I think. I don't know. Um, I hear a lot of people rave about this and I personally don't really care for it. If anything, it didn't really repair my lips. It made my lips like, like say if I had like cr crusty or chapped lips, I would apply this and they felt really good. But then over time, it's like the layer of skin would like go off my lips like it was going to peel off. Like, I don't know. It just did the weirdest thing on my lips. So I didn't really love this at all. And it's a shame because it's a drugstore product, but I hear so many people love it. So I maybe try it, but for me, I have other products I would definitely pick over that. So moving back to skincare, we're like all over the place. So these are both from L'Occitane. I purchased both of these and these are the L'Occitane Divine Youth Oil. These were like 16 bucks a piece for this little thing. And one of them I ended up dumping down the drain on accident. But this is such a nice oil. I actually have a gift card for L'Occitane, so I think I'm going to either get that or that Cream Divine. But this was such a nice oil. It felt like, again, it felt like luxury. It smells 
just like this. These are in like the same type of line. I did really love these. I do feel like they are better for anti-aging. I also do feel like they give you a lot of hydration as well. So if you're looking for that, you might really love these. Again, these are very expensive, but they are fucking good. Okay, next thing is going to be a fragrance and this is going to be from The Hubby. Oh my God, and I have lashes all over the back. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know what lashes are what, so they're just gonna go in the garbage. So this is Jimmy Choo Man. He actually did buy a second bottle of this because we both really do like this. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know how to explain fragrances, but I tell you this right now, this smells amazing. Everybody that smells my husband loves the way that he smells. But I will say my current favorite one on him, it's by Giorgio Armani. It's the Aqua de Jo, but it's in a black bottle with gold writing. Oh my god, that one smells so good good. I'll leave that one in the description box of what I'm talking about, but I want to say it's called Profumo. So the last things are going to be food items. So I've talked about these before, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is not even all of the packages. These are just the ones that I remember to put in here. These are these skinny dipped almonds, dark chocolate raspberry, and I have another lash. <laughs> But these are my favorite like go-to snack. I love these. And then these are the Hungry Buddha coconut chips. Love these. They have a chocolate one too. And another eyelash. <laughs> what is with all these eyelashes? But these are another really great snack. I did like these. These were for when I was doing keto. I don't do keto anymore, but these were a really nice snack, especially like if I just wanted that crunchiness. These were so good for that, and so were the almonds, but I just wanted to show you guys these because I was eating like a bag of those a day because they were so good. So that's gonna be it for all these empties. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel before you guys leave. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Peace.